Hi, I'm Nathan Douglas, Great Britain Triple Jumper. I'm back here again at Alexander Stadium to check on the progress. You can see what's been happening behind me and you can also see we also have this. Today I'm going to be speaking to someone who's been lucky enough to also call this their place of work for the past 10 years. And one of the main changes is this fabulous warm-up track. This is just breathtaking to see. For someone who's been training here for the majority of my professional career, this is really amazing. Since I was here last time, the new showers have actually gone in, which I can tell you I am really looking forward to seeing because compared to how they used to be, this is going to be absolutely incredible. I'm here with Dave Wagg, Head of Sport for Birmingham City Council, who has been here at this centre for the best part of 10 years. I've been here probably for the best part of 18 years. There's a lot of years between the both of us. So Dave, what do you think about the redevelopment? Oh, the redevelopment is absolutely fantastic. Um, if you could have told me 12 months ago that we'd be standing here today with a completed warm-up track behind us, um, an infield ready and just about to lay the main track before Christmas, I couldn't have wished for a better um, position to be in it. It's, it's been a fantastic opportunity and um, hopefully we progress to completion next year. Yeah, a lot has happened in obviously a short space of time. What do you think this is going to mean for the people of Birmingham? and the people that already you know, use the facility. Oh, absolutely fantastic opportunity. This facility is the focal point for the games, but not only that, during legacy, it creates an opportunity to develop community benefit, physical activity, but at the heart of that, it has the elite programme of athletics, and we can expand the event programme and have uh, major national and international events throughout the coming years and the legacy um, for this stadium will continue onwards. I know that in my mind this truly could become the home of, of athletics I think in this country. What are you looking forward to most? Oh, without a shadow of a doubt I sat in this stadium for 10 years in an office and looked out over the main track and there was hardly anybody using it whether that was elite athletes or community. What I really want it to be is a vibrant um, place where people come, um, do all sorts of sporting activity, but making sure that athletics flourishes on this site. And as you quite rightly say, this is the home for athletics moving forward. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah, I, I'm hoping it can become that. Obviously, I've been training here since 2002, 2003, so I have been one of those athletes using the facility. But you're absolutely right, there hasn't been as many people here as we'd like to see. So. Fingers crossed, obviously it'll start to flourish post quite month game. I'm sure it will, I'm sure it will. We've got a really good team behind us that will deliver this um, facility on time for the games. The games will be a wonderful spectacle and I for one will be very proud when that opening ceremony, wherever I am sitting in this stadium, there might well be a tear in my eye. But post games as well, I just think um, we've got a fantastic opportunity to make sure this is at the heart of a regeneration programme for Perry Bar, Birmingham and the West Midlands. Fantastic. Okay, that's it for this episode. Obviously, you've seen the new warm-up track. I've done a little training session on there. I'm a little bit tired now, so I thought I'd come and try out the brand new, new seats here. So, I'll see you in January 2022. So now I'm going to put my feet up. <laughs>